So as you guys know, I am on a fertility journey and I've never done an ovulation test as a blind woman. So I thought today would be a good chance to open one up and do it with you and uh, see how accessible it is. Let's do this. So it had like the little tab on the box. So it's all, that was really hard. So I had to get Ali to get that off. So, okay, so let's open it up. Oh, there's a good few in there. Wondering where the instructions are. How do I know what? Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh no, we know it. Okay, I spent ages looking for the instructions. Right, how does a blind person read printed instructions? Let's spot the first inaccessible thing in the pack. Uh, let's get my phone out. So, I've got my AI open. Right, I need to take a photo and hopefully it kind of, I don't know which way up this is, so we're just gonna go for it. Take a picture, take a picture. Okay, right, take picture, go. Take picture. Like a picture. We're waiting. It's telling me there's an air conditioner in front of me. Hang on. <laughs> the text is not fully visible. Ask more. So it's, it's telling me, so it's telling me I'm holding an instruction manual, but it's not telling me. Okay. Please tell me what you can see on the instruction manual. Can you read it for me? Question mark. Saying there's pliers on it and there's like diagrams. I'm gonna show you guys. Hopefully I've got it the right way up. I don't know. Maybe I should fold it first. Um, see, this is the thing. I'm determined I'm going to do this on my own, but it's gonna take me hours. This is the prediction. Because if I don't have someone telling me what I'm holding, I'm just gonna be taking about 30 million photos. Right. But I want to have a journey where I can sit here and say, yeah, I can take an ovulation test and I can know about my body on my own, but it's just, yeah, this just does seem impossible at the moment. I feel a bit like, uh Oh, there's a chart to tell me when to start testing. My cycle is 34 days long. Could you analyse the chart and tell me when I should start doing the ovulation test? I love AI. I'm actually feeling really liberated. I'm hoping it's right though. This is crazy. So I've got to te test 17 days after my period. I didn't think this was going to be accessible and I've just taken it. I'm going to verify, I think, with someone, but that's really cool. So AI got it wrong, it's one day out. So I'm going to take the test. I need to pee on the stick, but I need to work out what, oh, I'm guessing it's the top there. Yeah, okay, I'm going to get a cup because I've done this before and we'll see if we can read it with my app. So I peed in a cup and to be honest, I've always been able to because I don't think anyone looks down to pee in the cup, do they? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I think I do that at the same rate that a sighted person would. So I'm just gonna put this in for five seconds. One, two, three. Right, I'm gonna put this over the, ooh, wee wee. Okay, so that was okay. Now I'm gonna wash my hands and wait. <laughs> Just wiping the test. <laughs> I think I stuck it too far in. <laughs> Ollie's telling me it was, Ollie and Alice were telling me it was dripping. <laughs> Oopsies. I can't see the screen, but I think that's it. So I'm sort of gonna aim my camera there and hopefully AI will tell me what it means. <laughs> Take a picture. Go. Right, and then I'll ask a question. Add message. Please tell me what this result means. I've waited five minutes. Oh. It's saying it's blank and I didn't do it properly. Horizontal. Okay. Let me try, let me test another. Add picture. Could you tell me if you can see the window and what my result is now? Question mark. Let's see if it does it. 
this is it's all a bit ad hoc like you never know what you're going to get so it makes me really anxious and nervous oh it's saying that i haven't put enough urine on it and the the window's visible but it can't see it sighted people it's not true it's not true no. Lying there's a line. Yeah. yeah, there's a line. The control line is completely like filled and the T line is not filled at all. Basically, AI can't read an ovulation test, which means I cannot read an ovulation test independently. This has really upset me. I I rely on AI a lot and maybe I shouldn't because I know it has those moments where it just really isn't correct at the moment because of where we're at. Um I think one day it should hopefully be able to tell me, but it's just not reading the correct result. Like Alice and Ollie are here clearly telling me that it is seeing the window, but it's saying that the test didn't function properly. And they're saying that, no, it did function properly. You did do it right. And you can see a result there in that window. Um, evidently, I'm taking the photo right as well, because AI is telling me that, I'm taking the photo and it can see the window. It's just not able to actually see the result. So I don't know, it does make me feel a bit deflated. Although I did think that I wouldn't be able to do it. And I hate that because going into something that is so personal to my own body, I should feel that I can do it and I do have the autonomy to do it. Ovulation tests as a whole are not something that I necessarily have to do because I'm doing the IVF process. I'm tracking my cycle in a different way. I have to tell the doctors that it's 34 days and I'm regular um, and Ollie Bobs tells me when I'm on my period, but there's not gonna be a time where I will have to actually pee on a, st pee on a stick in this way only when I'm pregnant. And I think AI does read these little windows on the tests correctly although let's do that together when i'm actually taking pregnancy tests in a good few months um but i think it does make me feel sad that we're still at a place in 2025 where ovulation tests are, are not accessible and it just it makes me sit here and feel resolute to to try and raise awareness of this and make sure that I keep creating videos about women's health and about the fact that it still isn't accessible to me um, and to keep fighting. It does feel like a fight at this point. I do feel really sad that, you know, I can't do it. So that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a bit of a quick one today, but I just wanted to show you how I do it and how I'm feeling about this because it's a bit of a minefield and there's a lot to think about when you're going through through a fertility journey and I just thought you know why not buy something and let you guys know if that if you're blind out there and you're going on this journey at a similar time to me whether we're able to do it but um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you next Sunday for a new one bye guys